Hello and welcome to a brand new let's play of Stellaris. Uh, this is a game that I really like from um, Paradox uh, Development Studios. Um, I'm not terribly great at it. Um, I haven't played it actually in ooh, a long time um, since before uh, uh, Apocalypse came out. So it's going to be... Um, Interesting. We'll learn together. Um, I picked up the recent, uh, well, I picked up all of the DLC during the uh, Steam uh, winter sale. And uh, now we're going to try this out. We'll uh, do a large uh, system. Um, let's see. I think everything else is pretty good. Uh, so we're just going to try this out and see how it goes. We're playing as a uh, custom um, megacorp that I uh, created. Of course, we're going to do a megacorp since that's the brand new expansion. We're playing as the Drikai Enterprises. We are a megacorp. Uh, our ruler is Celestro Galareus. We are the Drikai species. Our capital is on Hesco Pran. We are militaristic and fanatic uh, materialist. Uh, media conglomerate. And brand loyalty is our civics. Our traits are tropical preference and intelligent. In the eons since the first, primi uh, first primitive Drikai communities took shape in the dense jungles of Hesku Prime, our civilization has spread and prospered. In the early days, our people were governed by primitive feudal realms and ineffective nation states. Gradually, as global trade increased, the influence of private corporations grew steadily until their power far surpassed the governments that once tried to regulate them. After a series of mergers and violent take down, uh, takeovers during the destructive corporate wars, a single mega corporation eventually emerged as the sole ruling body of our homeworld. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane Network, the finest minds of the Drikai Enterprises have finished development of the first Hyperlane or uh, Hyper Drives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. All right. Now I'm not uh, big into, um, I don't mid-max, basically, because, well, I'm not that skilled. Uh, and I think um, taking advice from uh, a fellow YouTuber that I really enjoy, uh, Benjamin Magnus, uh, he said, uh, you know, just put the mistakes in there um, because they help create a better story, and I, I kind of agree. So. We're going to make mistakes, I'm sure of it. Um, we'll see how this goes. Uh, we're going to pick up this first. Uh, quantum theory, physical research for researchers, or 20%. That sounds good. Um, I think we'll go with biodiversity studies first as well. And nanomechanics. We'll do all those first. Now, everything is way different since the last time I played. I, I've watched few let's plays since um megacorp came out this is all new i really haven't tested anything um i think it's fun to see you know right off the bat uh you'll get to experience this right along with me uh and learn as well uh so let's see here uh we've got districts now i mean this is all different than how it used to be population is completely different and i think it's gonna be fun um so let's see we've got eight districts right now um a maximum of 17 but we've got some tile blockers our current pop is 28 um at 30 we get a new slot this seems more like eu4 i think um where when you gain um i guess when you gain pops you gain more slots so that's cool uh we everyone has jobs got seven available housing, ten amenities, uh, zero unemployment right now, so that's good. So let's see here. All right, we've got a military fleet of three, construction ship, a science ship, um, right there, some edicts, right? Yeah, we're going to go with this edict to map the stars. Uh, survey speed and anomaly discovery so that seems good uh, we will where are we in the galaxy we are right in the uh, right in the center 
All right. I'm gonna take our science ship and we'll have them survey this system. And then, um, looks like we can start building some things. All right. Build this mining station first. And then we'll get everything else started to build. Uh, I think we're good to start unpausing. Let's see how this goes. Oh, you will notice I'll be getting a lot of achievements during this round. Like, I just got one. Because I've never played Stellaris in uh, Iron Man. I, I'm a big fan of mods. And usually when I play, I mod my games. But for these YouTube uh, videos, I've decided to start, you know, Iron Manning it up. Uh, and picking up some achievements as we go along. So hopefully we'll get a few. We'll see how it is. Everything's really different. Like consumer goods, that's completely new to me. Uh, as an advanced resource that represents the various luxuries and goods necessary to give you pops. A good life and to perform intellectual jobs such as research. All right. We've got alloys, our advanced resources with the military application. Okay. We're still gaining influence and unity, of course. Uh, this is our research. That's the same. Uh, all these are different. Um, you know, uh, different strategic resources. That's the word I was thinking of. And we got our energy credits and our minerals and our food there going. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, let's look here at our capital. No, that's not... Uh, I want to look at our base. Where is our... Oh, our station. Now, oh, that is different, because it used Upscaling to all be under... complete. Alright, we've got uh, construction complete. So we will pause that and look here now. What else can we build? We got that, uh, this. We don't have the minerals right now, so we got to wait a little bit. Before we can start building anymore, that's fine. I'm sure, we'll get some uh, pretty soon. Yep. Now we should be able to. Uh, I want to do is get these first, these uh, minerals up, so that we can, you know, build more. We'll see how that goes. Alright, how's this guy doing? He's still surveying. It looks like there is a habitable world here, but we don't know what kind. Oh no, it's arid, so that's not going to work for us. Might speed this up just a little bit. These things going. And he is meticulous, so he has a 10% chance to find anomalies, which is pretty good. Um, once we build up our home system, I'm probably going to build another science ship. I like to get two going as fast as possible, although right now we just, I don't think we have the... Upscaling uh, complete. Ah, we could. You know what, we're going we're gonna to build another science ship right off the bat. And we can construct something as well. What, uh, all right, we'll go over here and build a research station. And then I think the only other thing is we can build another research station over here at Kultor Station. So, okay. Discovery of alien life. The SS Illijon, the astute, has made a startling find on Alger Alitarian 3. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that not originate on Esku Prime. This amazing discovery has silenced those who believe we are alone in the universe. Although none of the alien creatures found on 
Algertite 3 are sapient, it is likely only a matter of time before we encounter beings that are. We may not be alone out there. Okay, we get 118 Upscaling research. Complete. Nice. I believe now, um, what was that? That was construction. Oh, yeah, we've got a new sign ship. We'll assign a leader here. Uh, what do we have? Spark of Genius. I'll go with Spark of Genius. And we're going to send them off this direction. Uh, so that we'll have them come down here and start researching. Because this one will pick up all of these ones over here. That sounds good. Drikai Enterprises is a buzz with news of the alien organisms discovered by SS Eljanius Stut some time ago. While far from intelligent, there is life out there. Intriguing. Ooh. Future market survey complete. Alright, we've surveyed that Upscaling all. Upscaling complete. So we can take them and uh, survey over here. And we are stuck. We can't uh, build any more for at least uh, until the month refreshes. There we go. Now we can build this research station. All right, we've got that going. Looks like some tropical worlds. Yes, there is one there. So we'll probably want to uh, get a colony ship going. Habitable World Survey. We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something you need to have to prime. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway. But our xenobiologists have urged us to focus on planetary surveys and efforts of habitable life bearing worlds. Yeah. Situation log revised. Sounds good. Let's look here. We're getting 26. How much do we need for a colony ship? Oh, we need a lot. That's going to take a while. Uh, just to get the... Um, the alloys going, but that's fine. Whatever here. There's a tropical world here as well. That's nice. Two tropical worlds, and that's... That is what we are. So, that works out for us. Market outlier identified. Oh, a colossal impact crater. Upscaling complete. There was something big collided with the surface. Yeah, we'll research that. Uh, that was one of the fixes that I, or not fixes, but changes that I really enjoyed, was that um, you can't fail them anymore. Uh, you can just, uh, I don't know, uh, what is it called? Uh, you don't fail anymore, You it just takes longer. So that's nice. Situation law, habitable world surveyed. Okay, uh, let's see how this goes. How is our home world looking? Wise, we're about to grow, and we do have culture. Uh, yeah, we could build something. You know what? We're gonna do that. How is this going? Oops. Almost processed. Alright. 
the Ersaren Concordat. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Coravon 6. From what we have translated so far of their language, we have learned that these aliens called themselves the Ersaren Concordiate. They were an interstellar power that held sway over this region of the galaxy a little over a million years ago. They appear to have been six-limb mammalians, and there are several references to some sort of plague called the Javon Pox, which, slept, which swept across the Empire with devastating results, possibly leading to the extinction. Situation log revised. Alright, a large Minorich asteroid collided with Yvon 1 at some point during the previous thousand years and had a major impact event. Abundance, okay, so we get three minerals there. Um, where was the situation log? So we have now this, the, the precursors. Um, I can't remember how that works, but we'll figure it out. Alright, and it does look like we've got a habitable world here. So that's nice. Like I said, though, it's going to take a little while. Intelligent life taunts with uh, pointed absence. Reads a popular news net post on Hesku Prime. The people of the Drikai Enterprises are apparently finding some humor in the fact that lower forms of alien life are now a matter of public record. But potential equals from other stars continue to elude us. Science officer... Darmula's report on the traces found on Caravan 6 seem only add an ironic twist to the situation. Remarkable! Ooh, we can get uh, a tradition. I think we're gonna go with Discovery. Um, that sounds good to me. It's kind of like these, uh, the survey speed, you know, the ones. Well, yeah, so that's what we're going. And there is a habitable world here. It's tropical. We're tropical, so yeah, that works. And that has 15. I think that's where we'll go next. Um, we can start to build that, so that's good. Uh, I think we'll send it to the 15 and not the 12, because it's just a, a larger, uh, you know, area there. Plus, there looks like more resources in this, uh, this area. Outlier identified. Alright, a small rectangular object on the surface of this moon is deflecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Our sensors are unable to turn its material composition. Alright, we'll research that. some of these different things that I haven't seen before. Like I said, I haven't played Stellaris in a long, long time. Oh, a leader's gained a level. That's good. Uh, Scoop Prime has finished its construction crew. So that means... That is built. That's good. How's the pot? A pot. We're about to get the pot there. Alright, we don't need that anymore. That... And they're still researching that. All right. I think the one thing we will do, though, is I think we're going to grab this and build a star base over here. Just expand ourselves Potential out a little bit. Potential market survey completed. All right, and we finished here. So we're going to send them over here to survey. 
And as soon as we get that colony ship, they'll be going to Yilan. While conducting surface scans of Caravan Illa, Science Officer Darmol and the crew of the SS Ajan, the astute, discovered what appears to be an artificial, uh, artificially uh, carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the moon, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Situation log revised. Okay, uh, we're going to let these guys uh, finish out um, surveying the rest of the planet because I think there's there's only a few left. Uh, once they do that, we will send them over to translate the alien mural. A system has been surveyed. See, that didn't take long. Now we'll have them do the research project. Chugging along here. We're almost about to have this uh, colony ship. So that'll be good. Upscaling complete. There we go. Take them. Oh, okay. Uh, as soon as this is done, I guess uh, that has changed since I last played, you used to just be able to colonize the world, but since it's not in our sphere, we can't. Um, I am going to send them down here, though. And then, uh, this is almost done, and we'll have them go over there as well. Upscaling complete. Yep. We just need to get a little bit more influence. We'll send them down here, though, uh, to get ready for that. Whoops. Forgot to unpause there. <laughs> uh, through hard work and experience, Governor Manabaki has developed a new skill. Nice. What did he get? He got agricultural interest, and he's an agrarian upbringing. So that's good. Wait. I'm confused. Did I build something wrong here? I thought when... Oh no, it just didn't upgrade, uh, update right away. Special project actualized. All right, science officer Dumula has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on Caravan Illa. The text contains a staggering amount of data and the mural evidently serves as some sort of low-tech library. It describes in broad terms the collective technology knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated the region of this galaxy some 80 million years ago. A lot of it is already known to us, but the data does contain several promising leads for technology we have yet to consider. There is enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we need an orbital station facility to continue the translation efforts. Alright, nice. So, that uh, ups all of that stuff, so that's cool. Um, what are they doing? Uh, they finished their... I think we'll send them... Here next. And can we still can't build the star base? We need to get our influence up a little bit more. It'll probably take a while. I kind of shouldn't have done this one. I didn't realize how that worked. Uh, but you know, that's one of those mistakes I was talking about at the beginning. 
that, you know, you just have to make and learn from, and, you know, hopefully it helps anyone else out there that might not know that. Uh, but that's all the time we have for this episode. I hope you enjoyed my new Let's Play series. Um, you know, if you did, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, I will see you back here next time for episode two of the Drikai Enterprises.